Welcome back my chrysalis to some more discourse. In the last episode we ended it in a super high tension moment where Teddy got crushed by a tree. You can't see him right now because he's under a tree. These guys are just chilling. Alright so there's like a storm surge and the shoreline is moving on up on us. And I'm grabbing some firewood so we can see if we can save Teddy. What's going on over there? <gasps> it's our food. Our supplies are washing away. Hurry up, the storm is coming in fast. I need to save the supplies. Crap, what about our supplies? I don't want to leave Teddy to die, though. What if I let... What if getting the supplies means Teddy dies? I'd feel terrible about that. But, man, I, we need those. Like, for real. Ah, uh, this sucks. <laughs> this game, man. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Like, I know it's just pretzels, but I'm more worried about the flares. To be honest, because pretzels are just whatever. Uh, we got fire, I guess, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to bring it. Ah, just screw it. I'm gonna save the supplies. I'm gonna save the supplies before they all wash away. But then it needs help. The water's coming fast. Oh, jeez. Okay, since they gave me a second chance, I guess. Since they gave me. Since they're basically asking, are you sure? I'm gonna go for Teddy. Because Garrett didn't seem to be so. You know. Uh, worried about the supplies. I'm on my way. We're going to have to find more food, though. Ah, uh, this sucks. By Disky, I think that was his name. Oh, jeez. What's up, guys? Get that light up in here, Rita. All right. I see it now. Your leg is stuck behind this branch here. When I say lift, we lift. We have to try to do lift. Oh, jeez. There we go. You're free. All right. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I saw some rocks more inland. Maybe we can find some shelter underneath them. Oh man, this sucks. We should have gone inland, huh? I just thought that like, if I, if I stayed up ahead under those rocks. Whoa, that was a lightning strike. That kind of almost got us. Whoa, this cave is awesome. Oh, this cave does look pretty awesome. What if there's treasure buried in here or something? I really doubt there's treasure. There should be pretty good protection from the storm, though. Bigger than my apartment back home. I haven't seen a storm like this in some time. Well, let's try to get some sleep. If we're lucky, this cave won't flood. We're just gonna just straight up go to sleep? Who can sleep after something like that? It's crazy. Day four. What a bore. I adore. Phew, I'm exhausted. That was not the greatest night of sleep I've ever had. <laughs> Looks like some of the rainwater collected in puddles in here. Nice music. That's convenient. I've always slept better in storms. There's something beautiful about nature cleansing itself. You're a nature guy, Garrett. You're a nature guy, Garrett? I wouldn't expect you to get out too much. The sound of rain is usually peaceful, but I'm finding it more difficult to think that way right now. All storms were, were good back home. Was scaring the livestock and ruining the crops. We need to get our campfire going again. The torch is almost out. I'll see if there's any dry wood in here. Oh my god! We forgot Disky! <laughs> oh, I wonder if I actually had the option to pick up Disky. Probably did, huh? Oh no, what if he doesn't make it? Heaven forbid. <laughs> Poor Disky, we've abandoned him. Who cares, guys? Well, there's nothing we can do now. We just have to hope for the best. I suppose you're right. I just feel really bad. I can't believe Rita actually cares that much about it. And what is this? Mushrooms? They kind of look like just rockets. Okay, there's okay, there's mushrooms. Let's see. Glowing mushrooms. Pretty sure that you're not supposed to eat anything that glows. Alright, I can't talk to anyone. No one's gonna tell me anything. Okay, let's walk up here, see if I can drink some of this. Or not. What's this? Oh, drywood. Cool. Okay, here we go. Here's one. I think you'll need a bit more, though. Uh, looks like this cave's a little leaky. It's still way better than our old camp, though. Well, that's a good thing. The rainwater is pretty clean, right? It's pretty safe to drink, so you can just drink that up, and it'll collect in little pools. Seems like a good deal. Hopefully, this will get a good blaze going. Good work, Rita. Now we can do something about food. I'm starving here. Hold on, at least let me get the fire going first. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, so fire. What the heck? Is that a cat? Did anybody hear that? Look, there's a cat over there. What the heck? Meow. What's a cat doing in here anyway? It's hiding from us. It must be afraid. Until we can confirm it's organic, we should assume it's a recon drone. Right, yeah. We should just wait and let it come to us. It's probably scared. Why don't we just try and grab it? Maybe it might be nice to have some company. No, I'm not gonna go and grab it. Just wait for it. Yeah. You sure? What if it wanders off and gets into trouble? It's just a cat. If something happens to a random cat, it's kind of alright. We'll just wait for it to see if it wants to be our friend. And if not, fine. It'll be fine. We'll just wait and see what happens. I'm telling you, this is a bad idea. That cat's full of computer chips and spy data. I agree with Rita. Alright, let's just leave it. Yeah, come on, guys. Let me make it such a big deal for cats, too. Things aren't looking too good for us, are they? It's been a stressful few days. Maybe we should all take a break and spend some time to try and calming our nerves. How about getting some food? We can take a quick nap and then eat, and then this evening we'll deal with the food problem. As much as I'd like to do something more productive, a bit of actual rest wouldn't go amiss right now. Nap time. There's an idea I can get behind. As long as it's only a few hours, there's a lot we need to do. Just try to relax. Our mental health can be just as important as our physical health. We'll talk more in a few hours. Huh. Pretty interesting decision they just made there. But I guess it's not a bad one. Oh, the cat's back. Hey look, it's the cat from before. Oh, it's got a little collar. Oh, it's so cute. There you go, little guy. You can stick with us from now on. Okay, great. So we've got a stupid cat now. <laughs> it's not stupid. It's even It even has a name tag. It says its name is Mr. Whiskers. Okay, no, you're right. That's pretty stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a new name. I'll consult the random cat name application on my game brick. Ah, perfect. You shall now be known as Kai. <laughs> okay. We've got more important things to deal with now. Yeah. Uh, we really need to talk about food. Let's just eat the cat. We've been on this island for days. We have nothing to eat. I'm pretty sure that eating the cat is probably gonna end up being one of the options, isn't it? There isn't really anything we can do about it. We can't venture out due to the storm. Ah, I'm so hungry. Hmm. I guess there's nothing we can do about this. Hey, uh, Steve, can I talk to you in private for a second? Seriously? This better be quick. Just come over here. It won't take long. Okay, what the heck are they talking about? I wonder what this is all about. Poor boy's probably just scared. We've been through a lot. Who cares what he's on about? It's just scared. They're clearly conspiring to murder the rest of us. I knew this would happen eventually. <laughs> Shh, they're coming back. Alright, what you got for us, Steven Garrett? No, Sorry about that, everyone. No, uh, yeah, so what were we talking about before? We, uh, well, it doesn't really matter. There's nothing to eat. All you have to do is just fire. Nothing left to do until we decide to go to sleep, I guess. Wait, what? I'm not just gonna go to sleep. We need to do something. Wait, is the rain still happening? Is the storm still happening? Is that why the, like, water is still, like, Pouring down. These walls have some interesting patterns. Too bad I don't know anything about geology. All I can do is appreciate the aesthetics. Dude, what? Is that really what this day is? Just nothingness? Okay, whatever. Um, let's talk to Kitty. I'd give you a bit to eat if I could, but we're a little strapped for supplies right now. If you can hunt down a mouse or something, you'll be eating better than we are, honestly. Don't bother asking me about what Garrett said. You're not even gonna let me say anything first? I don't want to hear it. Keep your suspicions to yourself. Jeez, alright, Garrett. Kind of a jerk, ain't you? Garrett, see if sure we're acting suspicious just now. Yeah, I wonder what they were doing. A part of me doesn't even want to know. Some things I better left unsaid, you know? I think you might be right about that. I don't know who the heck else. Should I talk? To Can I talk to everyone, or do I have like a weird limit? I don't really care too much about what Teddy has to say, he's usually pretty crazy. I'm so hungry, I hope we can find some food tomorrow. Me too, I've never been this hungry in my life. No sense complaining about it anymore, we should just try and rest. Yeah, you're right. Okay, looks like I might have a chance to talk to everybody. Yeah, uh, it really sucks that we have no food. What was that all about? I hope we'll get past this. Sure does. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, excuse me for yawning. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's tough, but I hope we'll get past this alive. No, Hopefully, you can find tomorrow, so, uh, find something to eat tomorrow. Okay, that's very uh, insightful, Garrett. 
I know what Garrett and Z were talking about over there. I'm actually a depth lip reader. I know all about their plan to inject me with experimental drugs while I sleep. Wow, you really think they'd do that to you? Lesson number one, Rita. Never trust anybody. Ever. So, what about me, Teddy? Well, I guess I did screw up you. I guess I did screw you up pretty badly. Your legs are crushed and you got hit by a tree. I guess we're sleeping in this cave tonight. I mean, I don't see you not. Why not? Let's just go to bed. I don't know. Good night, everybody. I'd hardly call it a good night, but I guess we need to sleep. If I die before we wake, it's been a pleasure knowing you all. Despite the circumstances, let's uh, at least try to get a good rest. Good night, everyone. But we just rested. All we did today was rest, and then we went to sleep. It, these guys didn't even stand up. Like, what the deuce, you know what I'm saying? Looks like we survived another night. Well, uh, I'm going to have to call this an episode. So, yeah, thank you so much, my Crystal Ladies, for watching. My name is Crystal Face, and I'll see you on the other episode of Discourse. Bye-bye.